I'm holding an early style engine driven vacuum pump removed from a 77 240D. There's two things in particular that I want to show you with this pump. One is, hey, what usually goes wrong with these? And the other thing, which I thought was really interesting when we opened this pump, is this is something you want to look at when the car has been sit sitting idle for a long period of time. The early style pumps up to 1975 had a rubber diaphragm. And this is the number one part that fails. What happens is, as this pumps up and down and flexes over time, you can imagine how many times this does this during its life, it usually ends up cracking uh, right around the area where the large washer attaches it to the drive uh, lever inside the pump itself. These cracks will cause the pump to lose vacuum and then you'll have problems like your engine won't shut off, your door locks won't work, your brakes won't work properly. So the vacuum in these old diesels is very critical. And if you have one of these old pumps and you don't know whether it has ever been rebuilt, you probably should just re rebuild it. Put in a new diaphragm, put in new check valves, and then it's not going to fail and leave you stranded. It's not an expensive uh, job and it's not that difficult to do yourself. But on this particular pump that was removed from that 240D, when we took the cover off, I was absolutely shocked at what I saw inside. Now I've seen this a couple times, and this usually occurs when an old Mercedes diesel has sat for a very long time. Look at the cor corrosion that has built up inside here. The pump is probably still usable, but it's going to require a good cleaning. So when you pick up an old Benz and you want to save it like I often do, uh, obviously the things you have to look at are the fuel system, you're going to have to drain the fuel, you're going to have to replace filters, replace hoses, and almost always you'll have to redo the brakes. But for you who are going after an old diesel, consider also looking inside the vacuum pump if the car has sat for more than three years. Now back to rebuilding these pumps, it's not a difficult proposition. We have. Uh, Rebuild kits on our website, they're not expensive. We also have a special little plate that I've developed that will allow you to clamp this uh, pump housing down to make it a little bit easier to remove and replace that diaphragm. It can be a little tricky without that. So I recommend for you diesel owners up to 79, you know, if you have one of these old vacuum uh, pumps with the diaphragm, that you go ahead and rebuild it before it fails, not after.